Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a coil pot. So first you're going to need clay or play-doh or whatever you're using. And you want to take a little bit of it. And this is going to be your main surface, the little circle at the bottom. So you're going to take a little bit of it and roll it up in a ball. So guys, after you are done with making your little ball, you're just going to take it and press your hand again in so then it's like sort of like a cookie shape and then you're going to use your thumb to make it a little bit more rounder and I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and continue to do this but don't make it too thin otherwise it's not going to be sturdy when you let it dry so after you're done doing that it should look similar to this about that thickness and um my camera is like really bad so it looks like it's a lot thicker than it really is but you I trust you guys that you can make it so after you're done with that you're gonna put that aside and you have the rest of your clay this is going to be the little coil part around it so what you can do Squish it a little bit to make it easier to work with. And then you're going to do this to make it roll. But then it will look like this and it will have different parts. Mine just fell apart so it's probably better if you do it in small little pieces. But then after you do that, you're going to take them. And you're just going to press on the side of it like this and just wrap it around. like this and push down. And then take, make this a little bit thinner. Something like that. Okay, and then you're just going to like squeeze it together. And continue to push it down. It's probably better if you do it in small pieces because it's easier. Mine just fell apart. Okay. That's another reason why you want to press down so it stays. And then don't want to put that in the same spot. So I'm just going to continue to wrap. And then it ends, so I'm just gonna kind of do that. And it should look something like this. And then when it dries, it will be a lot sturdier. But you want to make sure that it's together. Like, there's a hole there, so I want to kind of squish the clay together. And um, I recommend to just leave it alone for two days. Um, it depends on the kind of clay that you have. Though. I have, I don't know what kind it was, but yeah. Um, please leave a comment below or subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.